Hi gamers, I'm Severt Settler and today we're playing Osiris New Dawn. So today we're going to space. Um, I built this um, lab facility here. Um, it's, um, it's big and with this you can um, create a spaceship, the Corsair. It also have other um, cool stuff that you can have, uh, for example, the droid assistants that will um, help you mining and repairing stuff. Also, there's a security unit. It's like a, an iron golem. <laughs> I would compare it to that. A mecha crab, which is, um, yeah, it's crazy. And um, yeah, different um, types of vehicles. Uh, a m even a mecha you can have. That's, that's um, cool. I, I want to build that one. And uh, this facility lets you create um, already known vehicles without um, salvaging them. So this is um, uh, this is something that it's um, convenient. So and there I, I um, as you can see, I created the, the spaceship already. So let's hop onto it and let's. Um, Let's travel to space. So, yeah, this, uh, I think you can, um, you can build the, the, the spaceship um, if you want at, um, uh, an er in the um, early to mid part of the game. Um, it's not that um, once you have the lab, well, you, you can build it. It's not um, that expensive. But the thing about the spaceship, I will show you. It has um, a somewhat um, not intuitive um, way to control it. So with the right and left mouse button, you control the throttle. And depending, uh, it has two um, flight modes, the hover mode and then the like the normal plane mode and depending on which mode you are the controls will be different for the keys because W and S will um, control the pitch if you are in a plane mode but if you are um, in the hover mode it will go uh, forwards and backwards with the W and S so let's throttle up And the, the trick to go to space is that um, you need to um, aim for for the for the sky, right? So you have to go up and throttle and, and make full throttle, and then it will uh, give you a, the option to uh, press the space bar to go to space. So. I guess that's it. We're in space now. Let's throttle down. Okay, if we throttle down, then uh, I guess the engines will... will die out. And then, what is this? This is uh, 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 another planet. What? Um, so now we are in space, but I'm not sure what should we do here. Um, so in principle, I think we can we can build stuff. Uh, let's see if we go out. Ah, uh, we are above. We are in space, but we are above the. Okay, we are above the the or or zone let's say we cannot detect anything but we can still um control the the drones yeah and from from here we are too far away to um to do anything like to 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 see anything in the in the planet okay and uh, now we are also the, like the the way of movement we are in um, 
this microgravity so we are floating around uh, the movement is different and i guess one thing you can we can do here is build um, space facilities uh, and now from here we see the planet okay nice well, it's it's strange how it's different when we are when we are in the ship I guess that we are not pointing to the right direction, but I would expect to see this. It's it's a little bit strange. I don't know, a little bit wonky how how the the space the controls of the spaceship. Um, okay, so we are in space, and here you can, for example, um, build um, these things, right? Uh, and we have also access to space utilities. They're called different. Biosphere plot, okay. Cryopod, uh, this, these are different things that we don't have access in, in, on, on the planet. And then, of course, you can start building your, your space station. Um, yeah, probably you will uh, start with um, the habitat module then the um, airlock module and so on but one thing is that these modules require a surnium and a surnium is not um, available in the planet unless there are some meteorites uh, falling i got some assurium from um, like these uh, meteorites that will crash and and then you can harvest them but I'm guessing that if there are some um, asteroids here, that we could um, we could salvage or we could not salvage but uh, mine those those asteroids. Let's see if we can do that, because then of course it would make sense that um, there we go. It would make sense to go to space to to harvest uh, some to mine some um, asteroids, get some special materials that usually are not found in um, in the planet surface. Another thing about this the spaceship is that it allows you to move between areas in the planet so you can have um, uh, you can uh, the, the, the planet is really bigger than uh, your starting area so you can go from one area to the other if you uh, with the ship you go to like you go to the border of your area and at that point it will ask you if you want to jump to the next area so you have to interact with a keyboard in order to do that okay yes i prefer to fly like this ah you see there there are some uh, crystals there it seems you see those blue um things So let's see what happens once we get there. I will turn the spaceship to get some. Yeah, in space there's no up and down, so it's confusing sometimes. But if we get close enough, there. We kill the thrust now. Let's get out and see if we can reach that um, area. By the way, the, the, the ship doesn't have any fuel whatsoever. Like, I didn't have to load it with fuel. So it was a bit confusing um, how that worked. 
so yeah if i press the five now this is my chisel and uh, yeah i would expect pretty much to ah yes so i was right um so asornium is something you um harvest from um asteroids nice okay so now it's um, like clear to me how, how these mechanics work. And what happened with this one? It's not like... Oh, are there um, creatures? Oh, that's strange. I cannot harvest this one for some reason. Okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> There's another one. Yeah. It's a good idea to harvest as much um, asurnium as you can get because it's not available on the planet. Once we have this, then we can try to build a space station. Okay, that is that. Okay, and there, it seems that there's always remaining um, a little, um, how would we call this? A little node of the, of the, of the crystal. So there is more, I guess, there. But basically I see, I see the asteroids as um, a source of asurnium. I don't know if there could be other things like uh, zirconium because this you also get from um, from falling asteroids probably this is the case but I guess that for now I will return to the ship where is the ship there is the ship And we are, we're going to, um, after that, return to the planet. Let's see where we land because... <laughs> um, the area where you start is called like the, um, the Red Sea, I think. Flip. What is Flip? Flip the ship or what? Okay, so let's return to the planet. Yes, speed up to enter the atmosphere. And again, I would um, guess that you have to press space. This is a dangerous maneuver here. Okay, where are we now? That's our habitat right there. Ah, oh, there. Okay. Let's land our ship after our little um, space uh, walk. This was just a test to see how this works. By the way, the throttle, once you're in hover mode, the throttle determines um, what's your um, your altitude, like your stable altitude. If you kill the thrust, then eventually it will land. 
Oh, I think I cannot land. Oh, there is a severe dust storm now. Okay, guys, but I think um, I will leave it here. Um, I hope you liked the video and hope to see you in the next one. This is Cyber Settlers signing off.